What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Also, don't forget to hit up CMPKits.com and get yourself Dark Chords for Scaler. This is the new addition to the Chords for Scaler series, and it includes the MIDI files, and it includes the dot progression files, so you don't need Scaler to use it. You can just use your MPC or you could just use the plain old MIDI and if you've been thinking about getting out of the type beat rat race and you want to know how to set up a site like CMP kits and make samples like you would hear on CMP kits studio one tutorials.com forward slash sample class as a free gift I also have studio one tutorials.com forward slash vintage I give you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to make your DAW work more like an analog console so when you're making your vintage samples you can go ahead and get a convincing sound um, and not one copy of RC20 was hurt in this pursuit that is studio one tutorials forward slash vintage now today what I want to do is I want to look at time stretch, right? Time stretch is one of the greatest things to happen to producers since the MIDI sequencer. And Studio One has industry standard time stretch thanks to the elastic audio algorithms it employs. And if you weren't paying attention, I just said algorithms with an S as in plural. Recently, I was very surprised to learn that a lot of people weren't aware of the different time stretch modes, much less where to find them in Studio Ones. Um, you'll notice under the tempo drop down menu, there is another drop down menu labeled time stretch. Simply click on it to reveal the different time stretch algorithms for Studio Ones. This is located in the inspector view. You can either use the uh, F4 key to uh, open it up or there is the I icon above your um above where you see your tracks right so there's four different types of the um of the algorithms right the first one that's set that comes standard it's called drums and what you want to do is you want to use this mode that is for like percussion tracks and it's it's like transient sensitive so things that, you know, if you look at your wave and it has a lot of transients laid out, this is going to be your best bet, right? The next one that you have is called sound. And this is like a general mode for that you can use as like a starting point for any type of track. Um, and this mode uses the elastic direct format algorithm. Solo is something that you use for a soloed instrument, right? So if you got a bass... Um, keys a lead but bass and lead is what it works really good on and um this one uses the pro monophonic format algorithm and then they have the new one which was added in studio one five this one is called tape and this mode uh it follows the song tempo by changing the sample playback rate this results in the pitch moving up or down when the tempo changes right so this is like a traditional sampler um it would be the response that you would get on old type samples samplers like say a sp1200 right so if you're looking for that type of relationship tape sample or um the tape time stretch algorithm is what you want i hope this was helpful for you guys let me know in the comments if you knew about these and if so which is the one that you use the most have you made any use of the new tape mode i haven't seen a lot of people taking advantage of that at least in the videos that i've watched and um just let me know uh, in the comments what you guys want to see in future videos. I'd like to tell you guys to keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.